We are going to tally a face space file at the exit of the patient independent part of the linux, that is, just upstream of the jaws. The patient independent part of the linux is called segment 1 in Primo. In the previous video, we suggested the creation of a link from the desktop to the Primo executable file. This we have already done. Now, we double click the link in order to launch Primo. To start a new simulation from scratch, we click File and New. We enter the project ID. Notice that only alphabetic characters from A to Z, numbers, underscores, and hyphens are allowed. Any other symbol, including dots, as well as blanks, are forbidden. If you are willing to reproduce this and the following examples in your computer, please use the same names and parameters we are using in the tutorial. In the project name field, we enter any information that helps us to remind us what we have done. More abundant information can be entered in the notes field below. Now, we choose the Linux we want to simulate from the drop-down menu. In this example, we are going to simulate the Clinic 2100 CD in Photon mode. In this simulation, we will use a nominal energy of 6 MV. After choosing it, we need to enter the initial beam parameters, namely the initial energy of the electrons impinging the tungsten target, the full width half maximum of the initial energy, the focal spot size, and the beam divergence. These parameters are determined by comparing depth and lateral dose simulated profiles with experimental data. In the next video, it will be shown how to do this comparison. More details on how to find the initial beam parameters that reproduce a given Linux can be found in the user's manual of Primo. Although in the segment 1 we are simulating, the jaws are not included. It is useful for the very introduction technique that will be employed to define the field size at this stage. The default field size provided by Primo is 10 by 10 square centimeters. The software also provides a default water phantom of dimensions 40.50 cm in the x and y direction and 40 cm in the z direction along the central axis. The bin size of the default water phantom is half centimeter in each Cartesian direction. This choice of phantom dimensions and bin size leads to an odd number of bins, namely 81, in x and y directions. An odd number of bins in x and y directions is used in order to align the centers of the bins of the central column of the phantom with the central axis of the linux. This is a useful choice for subsequently comparing simulated and experimental depth doses along the central axis. Prior to launch the simulation, it is necessary to define the simulation configuration values. For the simulation of segment 1, the only available Monte Carlo engine is Penelope. We will use the default seats of the random number generator and we require that a time of 120 seconds will be the stopping condition of the simulation. This is an exceedingly short simulation time for segment 1, but for the purpose of showing how the simulation is launched it will suffice. Usual simulation times of segment 1 are of the order of hours or days, depending on the statistical uncertainty desired when subsequently computing the dose. However, once the initial beam parameters that reproduce our Linux have been determined, only one long simulation of segment 1 for telling a sufficiently rich phase space file is required. In other words, segment 1 is simulated once and for all. Primo detects the number of processing cores available. We choose to use the maximum number of processors available in our computer. 
Finally, we decide the user-defined variant reduction techniques that will be employed. The most adequate variant reduction technique for photon beams of 10 MV or less energy is a splitting relay. For energies above 10 MV, rotational splitting proves to be more efficient. Both splitting relay and rotational splitting can be applied to take advantage of the defined field size or to be applied for the most general case, that is, the largest possible field of 40 times 40 cm. If we require these techniques to be adapted to the field size, then the simulation will be more efficient, but the tallied phase space file can only be used for field sizes equal or smaller than the one defined at segment 1. On the other hand, a phase space tallied with the biggest option can be used with any field size when subsequently simulating segment 2. Now we save the simulation and launch it. The software informs us how the processes are loaded into memory. In the lower part of the window, the log file of each processor appears. Once the simulation has finalized, we click the Exit button to return to the main Primo window. Notice the two check marks that appear next to the drawing of segment 1. The one on the left indicates that the segment has been simulated, while the other one indicates that the phase space file has been produced. Let's briefly view the characteristics of the tallied phase space file. For doing so, the phase space analysis tab is clicked and the tallied file is drag and drop in the main window. The phase space analysis tool includes many useful functions that will be viewed in detail in the next video. For the moment, let's just see that by accepting the default options, it is possible to observe the energy and spatial distributions of particles.